off 99% of the time the side that drops the ball will lose the game it's going to come down to mistakes isn't it yeah big big mistake you mate you can't make mistakes in grand final and that's just oh mate that's bad and Shane Gibney feeds the scrum they come towards the right hand side and Nathan Cantor takes a hit up before he's met by a wall of singleton defenders still about 25 meters out and about 15 in from the southern touchline it keeps coming towards the right Dan Taylor's big hit before he is met by Bruce Turner, the uh, dual player of the year for Group 21. Towards the centre, through the hand, Shane Givney cuts out a pass to find Shane Hasselman. There's Carrots running on the inside, gets a bit of an offload out the back to Shane Givney to clean up. Singleton at the moment just trying to wrap this up, and it's Nick Kissy comes right over the top. And Ben Hagen with his enough tape on it, <laughs> tape up a horse. Jay Foote now has a hit up, he stands in the tackle. They're 10 metres out, the Tigers on the fourth tackle towards the left through Shane Givney shows it Mark Wilton runs onto it and Luke Holtz will wrap him up on the last tackle about five meters out from the sing from the Aberdeen Singleton line they're going to look for a uh, kick get it into the in goal bit of a oh, oh, there we go Aberdeen have come over with a try yeah uh, Joel that just goes to show you you know you make mistakes and the other team can play bit of the eye of the tiger for you Kurt yeah I love it special treat for you yeah thanks mate there we go. Sure who scored it, was it James Standing? Uh, I think it was Nathan Cantor, I think. It's happened on the far side. You know, it all st stems back, though, from the mistake that Singleton made from the kickoff. It does, mate. You know, and you just, as we said, you just can't make mistakes in grand finals because the other side will make you pay. Grand final nerves. This is a little bit different to what's happened in the, uh, the previous times. Aberdeen have got the early points. Usually they come home the stronger. Yeah, they do. They uh, normally get early points. And, you know, really, Singleton really shouldn't have pre-game nerves at all you know they've been there twice they know what it's all about they know what they've got to do and you know Aberdeen you know they've got a lot of young fellas in their side but there's also a lot of hard heads there that, that even it out. Our first half action thanks to Active Embroidery 
And the McDonald's, uh, the Criterion Hotel scoreboard, I'm sorry, is four points to nil in favour of the Aberdeen Tigers. As Lee Mitchell finds this kick up. He's going to be taking this kick probably about 10 metres in from the northern touchline. I'll repeat earlier that Singleton are running from east to west. The ground runs opposite to a normal rugby league oval. Uh, the wind seems to have died off a little bit too and the sun's come out for uh, the grand final action. The sun can be really bad for the sword in the second half. You know, it's especially at Singleton here, as we said, the, it's not the normal way the football oval runs. Can be tough. Lee Mitchell just lining up his kick, getting ready. See if he can make it six points to nil. It'd be an important kick for him. There it goes. It's up high. It's looking... Well, it's been waved away. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard remains four points to nil in favour of the Aberdeen Tigers. Chad Solman racing back to halfway. He wants to get this underway. They don't want to dwell on this mistake. Move on to it. No, exactly, mate. There's no point. There's 75 minutes to go, and you now it's really important that Aberdeen completes this set. Chad Simon gets us underway. A few players in front of the kicker. Seems to be OK. <laughs> Shane Gibney will collect the ball. Hands it on to Big J Foot, Big Yakimi, and he's met hard too by Chris Martin before they've brought him down about 10 metres out in front of his own goalpost. They definitely stopped him suddenly. <laughs> they have. <laughs> Chris Martin backs up from Mark of the ball. has been dislodged. And yeah, knocked back, though. And that will be the second tackle. Ginger to get up to as Shane Givney a bit busted there. Oh, uh, he's, he's sick. Send the ball out there. And we've got to knock on should have taken his time, Kurt, in front there if you hurt. Oh, mate, I think he's knocked out, to tell you the truth. He, he's just all over the shop at the moment. My apologies, that was uh, Steve Hinchin. So uh, he's going to be a big playmaker in this, so uh, they don't want to lose him too early on that one. So Singleton are going to have the feed. Ten metres out from the Aberdeen line to see if they can return the favour. Well, you know, as we said, you just can't make mistakes, mate, especially when you're ten metres out from your own line. Okay, we'll be looking for a man of the match too this afternoon and uh, thanks to McDonald's, we've got a magnificent prize. Yeah, $50 worth of vouchers at McDonald's and I think I've already won it. <laughs> How good will that go down on Mad Monday? <laughs> I think it'll be real whole. I don't know, <laughs> not for Aberdeen. <laughs> so it's all thanks to McDonald's at Singleton and Kurt, your comments and thanks to McDonald's too. Enjoying the sponsor's product. <laughs> Bruce Turner who takes it out from the scrum. They're about five metres out from the Aberdeen line. The defence for Aberdeen back on the line. Oh, Singleton have now coughed it up. We talked about mistakes earlier and you've got to make the most of the opportunities. Nathan Cantor regathers on the zero tackle. Ben Hagen, full of strapping, now comes up, makes about five metres. They're about ten metres in from the northern touchline. They're going through the hands, through Givney. Jay Foote gets it on a second man play. And now he's in the centre of the field. Singleton just lining up their defence. Slow to get off. I didn't think that was anything dominant or anything like that. Steve Hinchin seems to be OK. He offloads now to Mark Wilton. And Mark Wilton gets over the 20 metre line, 30 metre line. There's Steve Hinchin. He's all right now. All right, standing up, Mark Wilton for Aberdeen will be the dummy half. They're going to look to get to their kick. No, on the fourth, they decide to go to the left, and Daryl Bowen will now uh, stand up and play at 45 metres out from his own line. On the last tackle, looking for their kickers. And it's fine, Shane Gibney has got to avoid a tackle. A trap back here before Luke Hasselman gets his <laughs> kick away. And uh, marked beautifully by Bryce Neely as he comes in. Nice big hit to Shane Shane Givney will come up, Dan Taylor coming over the top to affect that tackle. Singleton go on the charge now, 40 metres out from their own line, the centre of the field as Luke Gardner for Singleton has a bit of a run. That's got a hurt, Ben Hagen over the top of you. He stands up though and sends it back towards the right-hand side for Singleton through Lee Langdon. And it uh, looks like Bruce Turner will stand up now and play it right on the halfway line. Mark Wilton slow to get up off him. Now they look for Luke Holtz. Bang! He hits that line, Dan Taylor. Mark Wilton, they're ready to, uh, for the challenge. James Standing affecting that tackle also. Towards the left-hand side, Chad Simon. They're going through the hands, mm. right through the hands. Now Luke Gardner. Now Jamie Garland, careful not to go out. Steps back inside. They're 40 metres out from the Aberdeen line. They're into the Aberdeen territory. They want to make the most of it. They cut out a bloke. Find Chad Simon, who's just put a little chip kick and nothing thing just to try and find some vacant space. Was able to do so as Nathan Cantor now brings it back and he's met by a wall of Singleton. The chase was there, Kurt. Yeah, the chase was there. That's what they need early. And, mate, that kick was just... I don't think there was any need. It should have just went high, mate, with the wind. Test, test young Cantor early. Test him early and get it back into the in goal. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Repeat set. We'll see what's going to happen, though. And uh, Steve Hinchin for Aberdeen. He's offload to Dan Taylor. Dan Taylor, it'd be a lot of contact there. Sing by, uh, Chris Martin. Mate, single on a charging off this lawn. They're really, they're really meeting Aberdeen at the ad line. Important there. A bit of a high tackle, I thought, by Chris Martin on uh, Shane Givney. Slowly he gets up, though. Steve Hinchin looking for Benny. Hagen, he wants it. Now he's got an offload. He's like a 5'8". Hey, this is a terrible set from Aberdeen. They've gone about 10 metres in three tackles. Well, it's actually five tackles because now uh, 
Hass is going to put it high. One of those torpedo kicks. Not out on the full, is it? No. No, beautiful kick. And that's going to be marked there by uh, oh, Stephen great Richard. Great tackle. Singleton have the ball. 25 metres out from their own line. About 10 in from the northern touchline. Running across the field is Nick Kissy, right across the field, like an under sevens. He's going to keep going. He's run the whole length of the side there. Now he straightens up, finds a bit of room, but now he's brought down. And they're 30 metres out, five in from the eastern touchline. Running out of dummy half is Jamie Garland. He's going to go sideways and take it all the way back over there. What is Singleton doing? I don't know, mate. It's not real good. Where are the forwards? The forwards don't know what they're doing. They've got to start going forward. They need now direction. They, now they go to the right and through uh, Bruce Turner, the player of the year, dual player of the year stands up and where he will be tackled on the 40 metre line center of the field and Lee Langdon will put foot to boot put foot to ball and it stands up and Tim Lonigan bit of work to do before he gathers that up and uh, he's going to run into uh, Luke Gardner and also a strong one by Chris Martin who puts a bit of rubbish into that tackle too there's a bit of love there both sets last two sets of six have been a little bit dead yeah it has it just seems that they're really flat at the moment and someone just needs a spark some just a good run or a good hit you know we'll, we'll really lift either side our first half action thanks to active embroidery and the criterion scoreboard four points to nil in favor of aberdeen over the 40 meter line as uh, steve hinchin darts out of uh, dummy half they're in the singleton territory with a few tackles up their sleeve play gets over to that far northern side and uh, just looking to see it's a wall of single in defence. Luke Holt's involved in that tackle. They come back now through Shane Hasselman and high the ball goes. This is what's needed. It's not going to be it's going to oh, be too big though. That goes nice. over the dead ball line. Worth a try though, Kurt. Yeah, it is. Yeah, as we said, you've got to test it early and um, if it had worked, it would have, might have worked, come off. But um, Aberdeen's just made a change. Timmy Lonigan's gone off with shoulder injury and been replaced by number 16, Brendan Hunt. About 10 minutes gone in the first half. And the Criterion scoreboard, four points to nil in favour of the Aberdeen Tigers. From a 20-metre restart, Luke Holtz will be tackled 27 metres out centre of the Singleton showground as Chris Martin charges in there. And uh, number 16 for Aberdeen is in there, and that's Brendan Hunt. He's a player who's got 80 minutes in him. He does, mate, and he goes hard, and um, he hasn't got much brains about him, so nothing will affect him. <laughs> Bruce Turner will stand up now and play the ball for the Singleton uh, Greyhounds on the, their own 40 metre line as they come out through Chad Solomon. Cut out play finds Jamie Garland. They'll look to get him out the Aberdeen Tigers. He does head back in field and a pretty good run. Signal picking up some good yards and uh, a penalty given for a, an elbow. A bit of a face oh, on the day. It is, but you know, Singleton's been putting it in as well. It's got to give and take a bit. So he's got to be he's got to be even with his penalties. Difference was, I think one was an elbow and connected and the other one didn't. And Matt Edwards saw this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a kick, though, from Chad Solomon. Singleton will have six tackles at 30 metres out centre of the park. Bruce, big uh, Luke Holtz charges in there and uh, makes plenty of yards for He's brought down by Dan Taylor and also Jay Foote. Chris Martin looking for an offload does find that two through Luke Gardner. He's been able to show oh. it and Jamie Garland couldn't bring it up. Shane Gibney, those were regathered, but it'll oh. still be a forward pass. Where's the play on? Well, yeah, well, look, the... Um, Looks like there might have been a forward pass from Aberdeen after it. So the first advantage will go to the Tigers and they will have the feed. About 20 metres out, 15 metres in from a touch. Heads comments thanks to the to Musselbrook Singleton. He'll also select our man of the match. You're doing it on your own, mate. So uh, okay. Pay attention. <laughs> we're going to count that. Oh, that was high. a very high tackle on James Standing. And uh, the bloke is about six foot four. Yeah. Pretty tough. And the penalty has been given. So they'll look for the quick line finder now. I've just been, um, you know, a bit surprised. The forwards from either side haven't really tested each other out at the moment. You know, they, they're just doing what they've got to do. They're just going through the motions. Yeah, the intensity doesn't quite seem to be there. No, it doesn't. But um, Mark McCauley's now on for Aberdeen. He's on um, the halfway line. Jay Foote looking for a big run now and charges in. There he goes. Taken high too again, I thought. Another elbow in there too. Yep. They're 45 metres out from the Singleton line. Back towards the left-hand side through Shane Hasselman. Cuts out of play. And uh, Aberdeen collect the, the scraps there and will be tackled by Bruce Turner. No, an offload, Daryl Bowen. Yeah. Uh, we'll Aberdeen seem to be all right with the offloads at the moment. Yeah, they are, but I just don't think they need to push that pass, Charles. You know, they've they got the field position at the moment. They, they, they're creating more opportunities than what Singleton is, so they just should just hold on to it. Back inside, Mark McCauley's just been cleaned up. Yeah, it was a nice pass, wasn't it? Chris Martin, they're in the centre of the field. They're 30 metres out, coming through Nathan Daniels. And now on to Brendan Hunt, who's playing on the wing. Good yard, standing up in the tackle before it takes three dogs to bring him down. Sean Tanner now dummy half. We'll find Shane Givney on the last. Uh, tries to weave a kick in there. Unsuccessful, though, and it'll be Bryce Neely for Singleton gathering up the pieces. And uh, he gets it 10 metres out in front of his own goalposts. Now it's time for the forwards to work, and it's Luke Holtz who is going to come into the line 
met hard too by um, Mark McCauley. What's doing with his hair? He's like got a pedestrian crossing on his head. He's got bits shaved out of his head. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Chad Solomon also got the red stripe down his head at the moment too. I don't know. He likes to do something special in these big matches. <laughs> Singleton now criming, criming, trying to get out of their own half and fighting and seem to be making some good yards. Not a bad set of six. Chad Solomon's trying to set him up onto the right-hand side. He gets the ball in his hands now and uh, cuts out a play before turning. Luke Holtz back inside. There's Zach Solomon being a little bit quiet, I thought, in the first half. Shows it, though, and um, pretty electric once he's got the ball. They do get over the halfway line. Jay Fuss is mauled him because he's 7 foot 12. <laughs> Bruce Turner for Singleton, oh, right. a bit of a speculator and uh, heads it straight out there and it's going to be a scrum. Yeah, there's a knockdown oh, there by Aberdeen, they went for an intercept. So we're going to have a scrum, it's going to be Singleton speed, 45 metres out the first half action, thanks to Active Embroidery, the uh, Criterion Hotel scoreboard, still see the Tigers on top, four points to nil, could be a handy lead for them. Yeah, very handy at the start of this game, as we said, Singleton find a little bit hard to come out of their own half at the moment, you know, I think they've just got to settle down and start playing footy and get some direction out there. Here's special comments to thanks to McDonald's in a Singleton. Singleton have won it as they uh, come out through Scott Matthews, who is standing out of the scrum in a 5'8 position. Gets over the 40-metre line. They're at the centre of the park. Now it's going to be Jack Brazer. Turns it back inside for Bruce Turner. And good tackle low, too, I thought, by Mark Wilton. Yep. James Stanley coming over the top. Still in the centre. Oh, not organised. Uh, exactly. Jack Fraser not knowing where to go. He finds Lee Langdon, though. Onto a bustling Pat Ling, who's playing in... Uh, his third grand final in a row and has come up without the ball. Mate, I really think single need to get Wayne Chandler out there. You know, they're, they're just, they're lost. They seem to be lost around the middle of the park. Yeah, they are. You know, Jack Fraser then just went to dummy half and absolutely no one there to, to run the ball. You just can't have that. About 15 minutes gone in this first half thanks to active embroidery. We wait for this scrum to be packed and it'll be Shane Gibney that'll feed it for Aberdeen. It's 35 metres out from the Aberdeen line. James Standing, huge run. Oh, oh there's another Chris high shot. Comes over the top for Singleton. That's let go. Geez, I keep getting James Standing high and he's the tallest bloke. <laughs> and still no penalties. Sean Tanner, Larry Tanner gets upended too before he has dropped a very, very good tackle by Scott Matthews. Here goes Mark McCauley. Oh, Chris Martin comes over the top again. Doesn't affect the tackle on this time. And Chad Solomon for Singleton brings him down. They're 40 metres out from their own line. As Mark Wilton with the ball in his hands finds Jay Foote standing a little bit flat and hence doesn't get the yard. Still 45 metres out. They're in the middle though. It's on the fourth tackle. I thought Singleton were offside then, Kurt. Yeah, they looked it. Find Shane Hasselman though who uh, does the little whoopsie do before he's going to eventually be tackled by by Jack Fraser. Just into the Singleton territory now on the last. They've got to get the kick back to uh, Shane Givney. He's gone high this time. It's a bit of a nothing kick. Bryce nearly will uh, find it though and get back in the line. Fair chase though by Aberdeen. I suppose you can when you don't kick it that far. Yeah, good chase. You know, it only went 20 metres, 25 metres. You know, Bryce nearly caught that 20 metres out from his own line. They need to get it down in the corner and find grass. Singleton seem to be doing it tough. It's a bit of a routine, this grand final at the moment, where they just sort of come back into their own half, try and work it out. It's a real arm wrestle. Yeah, you know, they, they just seem to get in this sort of mind where they think they're just going to grind the game out. And, yeah, grand finals you do, but you still need that extra bit of um, ability there. It, Chris Martin throws a speculator out before uh, Jamie Garland cleans up and... Uh, Singleton will be, uh, they'll get up and play the ball on their own 40 metre line. Players just tangled up, slow to get up. <laughs> Very slow to get up. Chad Solomon sends it out towards the right side through uh, Zach Solomon. Now they've got a bit of a cutout play. And Nick Kissy gets over the halfway line into Aberdeen territory, right on the uh, northern touchline. Going to get to their kick now, and Chad Solomon, he's gone high. This will never come down. It does. Test. Test Nathan Cantor, who uh, takes it on his first challenge. Real good chase, too, and uh, Pat Ling will bring him down. Maybe when you kick the ball that high, you'd have 50 metres to get under that. Aberdeen just making an interchange at the moment. Ben Hagen going back on for Jay Foote. Big spell for Jay, I thought, for the first stint. Yeah, he's done really well, I think. Aberdeen have the ball on the second tackle. It's 30 metres out from their own line. And now Dan Taylor has a bit of a dart. See where he can get, and he gets it over the 30 metre line. Steve Hinchin looks for uh, some runners, finds Carrots Bowen for Aberdeen. He gets to the 40 metre line. Oh, four Singleton players in there too to bring him down. And he still virtually stands up in the tackle. Aberdeen not sure. I think they're just looking to get to their kick here at the moment. Shane Gibney shows it, shows it again. Now finds a bit of room and a great tackle too by Pat Ling playing in number 16. Dan Taylor runs in the dummy half, finds Larry Tanner for Aberdeen. Again, one of those nothing kicks. Bryce Neely's had an easy day. They're not testing him, Kurt. No, they're not. And, you know, that Aberdeen got a bit stuck there. Shane Gibney got tackled on the fifth tackle there, so went to Sean Tanner to kick, so they really need to start doing something. 
Shane Gibney for Aberdeen darts out of marker and is able to affect the tackle. Singleton stand up, play the ball on the second. They're 40 metres out from their own line. There's a big run. That's a great run from Singleton. And a good low tackle by Dan Taylor. Pat Ling wants his go. Now he's got the ball in the hands. He's met by about three or four Aberdeen blokes. He's going to be brought down by uh, Mark McCauley and also Mark Wilton. Which way? Jack Fraser's is not sure which way the ball's going. No. Now he decides that he'll go towards the right-hand side and finds Bruce Turner. Good tackle. Real good tackle. Mark Wilton's tackling beautifully. He's doing a lot of low tackles today. Maybe now Jack Fraser puts the ball to the foot. Why not? Nothing else was really on. And he'll find touch and we'll have a, a bit of a settler. Our first half action thanks to Active Embroidery, the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. Four points and an L from an early try in about the first 60 seconds that came from a mistake where Singleton dropped it off the kicker. Yeah, it's just criminal, mate. You just can't do that. Mistakes like that definitely will come back and uh, they'll hurt you. Oh, they definitely will, you know. And as it is, it's hurting them at the moment. 4-0 and Singleton's made a change with John Boyle going on and Chris Martin's come off. And that's big John Boyle too, he's a monster. He's not a small man, is he? He's a monster. The scrum is packed, but uh, Matt Edwards says we'll have it again. Now Aberdeen come up with the, uh, the scrum win. Now they go through the hands and find Sean Tanner. He's going to be tackled by a couple of Singleton players who now stand up. On the blind. Kurt thinks it's on the blind, they go to the open for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Nathan Cantor, he can't hear you. No. He can't hear much at the moment. That tackle was high, he come down on his throat, yeah, I thought. He did it. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm a bit critical of the referee at the moment. He's, he's ruck at the moment. He's terrible. They're laying all over the players. They don't, if he doesn't clean it up, it's going to erupt. Yep, now we've had a penalty for laying down. Uh, oh, right. the same thing. It's going to be Nathan Cantor's going to kick the ball straight George over our head. We're broadcasting right on the sideline, right on halfway. <laughs> we might get a bit of action too later, Kurt. Best seats in the house. Be beautiful. All right. Dan Taylor for Aberdeen gets it over the halfway. It's a great tackle by John Boyle. Stands up, wants a little more work, he says. Come on, run me some more blokes. He doesn't mind. The chance going up for the doggies. The crowd went a little bit quiet today up until now. Oh, they have been, yeah. And as we said earlier, the crowd, it really lifts you in a grand final, you know. You want to perform and you want to perform for your crowd. Mark Wilton tackled for Aberdeen, 35 metres out, just in from the northern touchline towards the centre of the field where the ball comes through Shane Hasselman. Shows him. Oh, he's broken the line, a big line break. He's got no support, though. Oh, he does find the offload. Through Nathan Cantor, on to Mark Wilton, oh, across the line oh, for the pass. You know, Singleton's making a change here. It can't come soon enough. Wayne Chandler's going on, and they need him there, and he's got to stay there for the rest of the game. He's going to have to. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard remains four points to nil in favour of the Aberdeen Tigers. A near miss there. Oh, mate, very, very unlucky. Um, and and come, from, come from nothing. Yeah, just a bit of sloppy defence in the middle of the parkway. Singleton and Hass was away. Singleton win the scrum feed though after the forward pass. They're about 15 metres out from their own goal post. Chad Solomon's gone to dummy half. Now he looks towards uh, his left and uh, finds looks like Scott Matthews. He comes in. Jack Fraser is back to dummy half. There's a penalty as well. Too so slow to get up. Uh, nah, silly, mate. You just can't do that. You know, third tackle. And now to just give him a piggyback out of it. Well, that's a terrible kick for touch by Chad Solomon. But, you know, he's just giving him 10 metres, but they're up on their 40 now. Yeah, only picking up around about five metres or so. John Boyle for Singleton. He comes on the boil and uh, tackled low by Dan Taylor. It's how you do it. It's how you bring the big fellas down. Pat Ling for Singleton. A good charge, making 10, 12 metres before he gets an offload to Jack Fraser. Now they're set up towards the left side. Chad shows it, finds Luke Gardner. Luke Gardner, oh, almost a bit of a line break there. Desperation by Brendan Hunt for Singleton. Yeah. Singleton about 35 metres out now and trying to get in. There's a Barney going on. Here we go. Tenner's into it. Well over the play, Chad Simon's got the ball. Chad might go all the way. Now they've got an offload. Scott Matthews is going to run through and put the ball down. Well, they've crossed the line. Let's wait and see what the decision's going to be. Seeking through the first punch, maybe it'll oh, be a try. Boy, I From what I saw, Luke's done Luke through the first punch. Start that fight, and it should be a penalty to Aberdeen, I think. But he's an award of the try. No, 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 they're coming back to the fight. The fight's taken place about 35 metres out. Let's wait and see what the decision's going to be. See who threw the first punch. Maybe it oh, won't Joel. be a try. I, I From what I saw, Luke's done Luke through the first punch. Start that fight, and it should be a penalty to Aberdeen, I think. But he's an awarded the try. No, 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 they're coming back for the fight. The fight's taken place about 35 metres out from the line. Uh, Players have come from everywhere and then... Um... <laughs> Mate, that is a wrong decision. That is, that's wrong. No, the try's been awarded. It has, you know, that's wrong. Luke Gardner threw the first punch at the marker. It should come back to a penalty to Aberdeen. I tend to agree with you at the moment. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard doesn't agree though and it's four points all. 
with a kick to come. And now we've got Aberdeen players being brought out. Yeah, that's well made. And this is very critical kick for Chad Solomon because if he kicks it, he'll kick them all day. If he misses, well, find another kicker. The dogs are talking. We've got time back on. About 20 minutes or so gone. Now a little bit more. 22, 23 minutes gone in the first half. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard reads four points to four points all. For Chad Salmon to kick this ball now around about five metres out from, uh, from the southern touchline. First half action, thanks to Active Embroidery. I tend to agree, you know, with what I saw, it was Luke Gardner that threw the first punch. You know, there was some rubbish in it, but no more than normal in um, what we've seen. Uh, mate, it's just the same. But, you know, all year they penalised blokes for pushing the mark away and come to a grand final, they're not going to do it. So how do you how do you play the referee? But uh, full credit to Singleton. They kept the ball alive and uh, went through and scored their try. Very smart, mate. Event. You know, you don't play, the, don't play the game, you play the ball. Play the whistle. Play the whistle is what he's done. All right, here comes the kick from Chad. Lines it up. Gets onto it, sounded all right. It's just going to wave around it to the left on the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. Remains four points all. The green final, she's all locked up. It's all locked up, and, um, you know, this is what the game needed, a little bit of a Barney. You know, get it back to even, and hopefully the intensity lifts up now. Yeah, looking for the record, I felt Luke Gardner won the fight too. <laughs> yeah, you got a couple early on. Okay, Nathan Cantor gets us underway. Four all, the Criterion. Hotel, scoreboard, oh, good kick, and oh. Flourish Turner, why did they let it bounce? You've got to take it on the full. Now, didn't they, surely they learnt from their first kickoff. Got to take it on the full. Bruce Turner now has cleaned it up, though, and uh, it's going to be Bryce Nelly for Singleton, runs it out to dummy half. Mark Wilton comes over the top. Four all, still about 18, 17 minutes to go in this first half, thanks to active embroidery. Pat Ling will have his charge. Here he comes. He's going to be wrapped up, though. Ben Hagen finishes him off for you. Mark McCauley down low. Jack Fraser for Singleton at dummy half. He's looking left and right. Turns out he goes back towards the right and uh, through uh, Wayne Chandler. That's his first hit up of the game. Yep. Mate, uh, Tom Hagen's come on for Dan Taylor for Aberdeen. Singleton through the hands about 40 metres out from their own line. And it's going to be Tom Hagen for uh, Aberdeen stands at marker. They come towards the blind side. Chad's going to put a bit of that drub grubber in. Jamie Garland, they're letting it bounce. Now Brendan Hunt's going to shadow it. Will he go out? Oh, there's a penalty. Oh, they yeah. just picked him up, dragged him out. Yeah. You can't get away with that one. Not in this game today. Hey, ben Hagen's struggling. I think he's looking for a blow. He's got a leg injury. Yeah, he picked up a cork on his cork, I believe. Yeah, very painful. Uh, against Scone. Now John Boyle gets off uh, the Aberdeen player. He finds Tom Hagen <laughs> comes in. Just a little flat foot in the market offence for Singleton at the moment. Very, very good, I've got to say. Hey, John Boyle's jumping around like a heavyweight fighter. Have a go at him. He won't. He'll be run out of puff. Mark <laughs> McCall, he finds a bit of room. Gets over halfway on the third tackle before he stands up. Gets it back to Steve Hinch. And now he finds Daryl Bowen. Daryl's looking for an offload. Sends a bit of a cutout and finds Shane Hasselman. Now he straightens up. A one-armed offload to James game. Standing. I thought I saw an arm too. And... Uh, What's, what's that rule? He's done a little butterfly thing with his hand. Well, he's given the feed to Aberdeen, loose head and feed. Yeah, it must have been a bit of a hand that we saw. <laughs> so Aberdeen are going to have this grump pack right on the 40 metre line now, about 15 in from the northern touchline. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard still for all. Should. This first half action thanks to Active Embroidery. I should make mention too that um, Shane Hasselman was... Um, only passed fit this morning in a fitness test, so yeah, he's done well. Yeah, fitness test, and uh, he's strapped up quite a bit as well. They're 40 metres out, centre of the park. Nathan Cantor for Aberdeen has the ball and finds Tom Hagen coming in. Still seems a bit flat to me, Tom Hagen. Steve Hinchin again, looking left to right. Now you'll find uh, Ben Hagen. He wants to have his hit up. He does back in towards the ruck area before he's brought down low by Jack Fraser. They're 25 metres out. Shane Hasselman, who's what we've got to be watching. Oh, good oh, ball on the Daryl yeah. Bowen. Couldn't quite get the offload. Nathan Cantor was there, though. Ben Hagen comes off again. He's struggling. Just seems to be struggling. Jay Foote's gone off there. Jay Foote's on the wing to <laughs> find him. Oh, Brendan Hunt. I don't think they would have stopped him. Oh, the the bro oh, put the blinkers on. There, uh, Jay Foote came on. He's on the wing, and then they had the overlap straight away. Shane Gibney's put a bit of a kick in. I think it's going to be too deep. But that, there's oh. a ball. An Aberdeen player's been able to get his hand on there, but I think it's been forced. Yep. Yeah, it's been forced, so uh, it'll be a 20-metre optional restart. Jack Fraser uh, will tap it and finds Clinton Tull. Clinton Tull and Mark McCauley bring it. Gee, he's tall, isn't he? And wiry. Yeah. They're going to have to get him down. Jack Fraser goes towards uh, Wayne Chandler now, and they find Bruce Turner coming on. Luke Holtz has been off the single for quite some time too. 
See if there's an injury to that. Clinton Toll has a ball and has another hit up for him. Well, I don't think it's an injury. I think they're just giving him a big spell. I think they really need him in the last 10 minutes of this first half. Very important. 40 metres out from the Singleton line, and Jack Fraser will uh, meet the Aberdeen defence through Mark Wilton, just short of halfway. The chant for doggies go up again. They've got to get more involved with this crowd. Chad Solomon shows it, then pulled it back in and uh, gets wrapped up now, and they're losing yards at the moment, Singleton. Tom Hagen and also Jay Foote affecting that tackle. Now they kick it through Wayne Chandler. Seems like a better kick. Tess Bolin take. takes it on the half volley before he gets in the line. He's been quiet after taking an early knock. Uh, he has been quiet, and, and Aberdeen really need their back three to start lifting now. They really need to help the forwards out. Nathan Cantor has a run from dummy half. Give those forwards a rest. Now James Standing comes in the dummy half. There, oh, penalty. Penalty for holding down in the tackle. You know the penalty count, Joel, or oh, I forgot to start it. <laughs> Goals just don't seem to be consistent. No, it, it, exactly. It's, it's, it's been the same all day. It's even. It? It's even. They just don't seem to be as consistent. Yeah. That's what you probably would expect. Now Steve Hinch it. Oh, short play. Finds Mark That's just, you just that, offload the hospital pass to uh, Daryl Bowen. They're going to stand up. Made no yards. They're 40 metres out from the single on line. They cut out Shane, give Shane uh, Hasselman. The two Shanes in the half. So he's going to be wrapped up now. And it's uh, Chris Martin for Singleton's back in. He's come up with the ball. Your ball, mate. You may as well play it. It's a one-on-one -on -one strip. Nice and easy. What a waste for uh, Aberdeen. Silly. Now Singleton comes through uh, the hands and find Bruce Turner, who gets just short of halfway, about 20 metres in from the uh, northern touchline, almost centre of the field. They come back towards the centre. Oh, oh, John Boyle hit. and uh, Jay Foote hits him, and he'll probably feel that one in the morning. Well, not being biased, but um, you know, Footy's having a great game in defence at the moment. Very good at the moment. Now Scott Matthews coughs yeah. it up. Lost that. He's lost it, and uh, the call has come from the uh, touchline. A bit of a uh, scaffold, and they help each other up. That's beautiful. <laughs> hey, uh, you have the ball, he says. Uh, you have the ball. That's a falcon. You have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's when you chuck it at his head. <laughs> Everything are going to have this feed now, about 42 metres out from their own line, almost centre of the field. Shane Gibney gets it into the scrum. What was that? that? <laughs> It was a bit funny. Now it goes towards James Standing. James Standing for Aberdeen. He gets uh, over the 40 metre line. Eventually he is brought down and wrestled. See, that's holding on too, I reckon. Now Aberdeen on the third tackle, not making the yardage that they wanted. The forwards come through Daryl Bowen. How many hit-ups has he had today? This must be about his 20th hit-up and the 20th offload as well. Yeah. They come through the back line. Shane Gibney, Sean Tanner hits onto the ball. He hit well, yeah, he hit it beautifully and uh, changing direction. Now he's been brought down and Luke Gardner will stand up and go to Marker. Mark McCauley for Aberdeen heads back towards the centre. They're just busting it hard up the middle at the moment, Aberdeen. There's going to be a change here for single minute. Uh, Luke Holtz be going on for John Boyle and mate. They really need Holtz out there. He's the only one been ditting Aberdeen defence. Yeah, Aberdeen just wanted another ball, dropped it over the sideline, James Standing. I just don't understand why you have to do it, Joel. You know, you, why throw the massive 20, 30 metre pass when you've got blokes out front? I'm just drawing past. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard for all. Not too much longer to go in this first half, probably around about uh, eight, nine minutes. Singleton will have this feed. They're deep in their own half, though. They need to get out of there. And he shows it, Bruce Turner, from, uh, picks it up from the scrum. 30 metres out centre of the field. They come towards the left-hand side. Clinton Tull takes his hit up. Oh, and steps back Good in. Hit. Dan Taylor coming over the top to hit him very, very hard. Oh, he's, he's lost, lost the ball too, and it's just lost it cold. Hey, one thing we can say from both sides, ball control today has been absolutely terrible. You know, and conditions are quite favourable. The moment the sun's come out, it's quite warm. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's not greasy or anything like that, so there should be no question why they're not holding the ball. Criterion Hotel School Board, I repeat, four points all. A messy scrum will have that one again. It's like Singleton forgot to pack into it. <laughs> they didn't pack into that one either. Sean Tanner for Aberdeen picks it up from the lock position. Now he's, oh, juggles the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that one's Mark, not that's a Mark Taylor. Classic <laughs> catch. He has done a Mark Taylor. Now Mark McCauley hits a very, very hard Chris Martin from Singleton. Mate, Chris Martin's getting through a load of defensive work here. He's playing really well for Singleton. Aberdeen, they've got an opportunity, though. Through the hands, it's Nathan Daniels has come back on. He's gone to dummy half. That's a good move. Oh, great move, I think. I'd, I'd really like to see him at 5'8", though. I think when he plays 5'8", Aberdeen goes a lot better. Nathan Daniels, he goes towards the blind side. Lee Mitchell's put the oh, put a kick knock in. on there. Almost a knock-on. They want to keep him back in, and he's able to... Uh, oh, oh, penalty. Penalty. Penalty's actually gone to Aberdeen. It'd be interesting to see what that's for. It must be for holding oh, him back. Yep. He's got the uh, he's got the love cuddles going yeah, out. he's held him back off that. So uh, now Aberdeen with a great opportunity. They're about 10 metres out. We've got time off once again. 
At 20 metres in, Nathan Daniels ready, ready. The back line is stretched. The forwards are ready to run in there too now. Mark McCauley takes a hit up. Gets close to the line before he's forced back by a wall of Singleton defenders. It's very, very slow to get off him. Now he gets up. And it's Shane Gibney finds Jay Foote. He gets very, very hard. He can't get low enough though and Singleton will just force him back. That's right a good choice here. Yeah, he's right under the goal post. He'll be looking to keep his yeah, pants. Yeah, terrible play the ball. Terrible, terrible play the ball. Too interested in pushing the markers away. Yeah, that's just dumb, mate. You just got to make sure you play the ball and then push it, I reckon. Yeah, looking on the second tackle too, Yakimi's let his team down. Ah, uh, yes, it's terrible. You'll hear about that. Yes. Our first half action thanks to Active Embroidery and the Criterion Hotel scoreboard is for all Kurt's special comments and thanks to uh, his greatest love, McDonald's and Singleton. I have at Muscle Group. <laughs> now Singleton have the ball to work it away from their own line. Luke Gardner, oh, almost fans. If he had got away then too, I don't Jamie was, Garland ooh. would have been there in support. So luckily, again, slow to get up. Chad Solomon's the dummy half. He's going to send it out. Find Luke Holtz with that funny haircut. <laughs> Zebra crossing. <laughs> it is. They're lucky to be 20 metres out from their own line at the moment. Jack Fraser has his run. Hasn't had much run from dummy half. No, he hasn't. And they need. He just needs. You know, the markers are moving pretty quick. There's plenty of opportunity to make yards for him. Nathan Daniels goes to the marker. Now Clinton Tull for Singleton, though. He has the ball and gets it to the 30 metre line. Stands looking for an offload. Oh, forcing oh, the offload. Is that a knock on? No, I don't it think came so. came into James standing, but he's given the ball back to him. Now Clinton Tull will play the ball. Come back, Wayne Chandler shows it, throws it now, and Chad Simon, very good hands. Very good hands, and it's yeah. Scott Matthews. If Scott Matthews got that ball away here on this right touch line. Coming to the blind side, Chad Simon, he's going to find Jamie Garland. They've got some room to move. Jamie Garland's kicked it back in field. Nathan Cantor can take it. Oh, beats the tackle of uh, Luke Holtz, loses the headgear as an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's an eye when you lose that, and Chris Martin will bring Nathan Cantor down. I didn't even know he had blonde hair. <laughs> now Dan Taylor has a run. Well, I haven't even seen him with that gear on. I think it's orange. Chris Martin making a, uh, another great tackle, too. Now Jay Foote's going to have a bit of a charge up. Seems like Ben Hagen might be a little bit injured at the moment, so uh, these forwards are getting a little more work. Yeah, and it won't hurt him. Yeah, you know, just get into it. Yeah, that's it, Nathan Daniels. Good work. Nathan Daniels, oh, I oh. couldn't quite get the offload. He did have support in Shane Gibney. They stand up there in the 40-metre line in Singleton Territory. Now Daryl Bowen will come back into the line. Chris Martin's got to tackle again. Maybe that's a ploy for everybody. Make this kid tackle. Well, that's it, you know, and why not? He'll sleep well tonight and he'll party tomorrow. Now Nathan Daniels from Dummy Half kicks over the top for himself. David will regather, gets an offload oh. away with Singleton there, and they were again it. Yeah. Nathan Cantor going to be hanging on before he flips him back over. Aberdeen just not playing off the ball there, just getting a bit lazy. About 35 minutes gone in this first half, thanks to active embroidery. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard still four points all. Not a lot in it when she's all locked up, especially then. Now the ball's been coughed up by Singleton. Uh, looks like it's gone back, though, and they will stand up and play the ball. 30 metres out right over on the northern touchline through Nick Kissy. He's been a little bit quiet. Clinton Tull's got through a mile of work since he's been on two, halfway through this first half. Gets to the 40-metre line before they play. Just get off him. Quick play of the ball. Jack Fraser comes out, finds Wayne Chandler. There's Chad Simon. Cuts out a couple, too. Finds Scott Matthews. He's got support. He gets through the line over the halfway. The desperation stuff by Dan Taylor. They're able to bring him down. They're 40 metres out into Aberdeen Territory. Oh. Penalty again. Dumb. Dumb. Holding him on. Holding him down. But yeah, as we were talking earlier, Joel, the penalties are coming. And um, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can lay on him for four seconds. Sometimes you're getting penalised for laying on him for two seconds. There's no yeah, consistency. No consistency. This is the best chance Singleton, well, not the best chance, but an important opportunity, so close to half time to uh, play some more points yeah. and take the lead in. So it's the first tackle. Luke Holtz, he comes charging in now. No, he's been able to get an off by Bruce Turner. They're very close oh. to the line. Desperation. All right, Singleton back towards the right-hand side. Wayne Chandler comes back inside, looking close. He's almost under the post. About two metres out from the Aberdeen line as it comes to the left. Chad Zolman shapes the kick and doesn't, cuts out everybody. Luke Garner on the charge and they'll score. That's a good try. It's yeah. an easy try. Terrible pass from Chad Simon. Luke Gardner picked it up on the run off the ground. Great try. He's caught Aberdeen defence napping out there, and look, it's fantastic pass by Chad Simon. I think it comes back to Aberdeen. They haven't got an actual winger on that on that touch line when Timmy Lonigan went off, mate. Yeah, you know, Shane Gibney's out there at the moment, and you now a bit hard for him to read. Chad Simon, Luke Gardner picked it up on the run off the ground. Great try. He's caught Aberdeen defence napping out there, and look, it's fantastic pass by Chad Simon. 
I think it comes back to Aberdeen. They haven't got an actual winger on that on that touch line when Timmy Lonigan went off, mate. You know, Shane Gibney's out there at the moment and you know, a bit hard for him to read it. Shane Gibney defending out there and um, Brendan Hunter's just oh, run in for a try to uh, Luke Gardner. The dogs are talking here at Singleton Showground, the Criterion Hotel scoreboard now eight points to four. I mentioned before it's important that Singleton get some points so close to halfway. By the time this kick happens, you'd nearly bet that the siren's going to go. And trust me, you'll hear it. I think Singleton really need that kick. You know, they're going to be working the second half into the wind. It's the loudest siren in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> First comments, thanks to McDonald's in Singleton. He'll also select the man of the match that will win $50 worth of vouchers. Hmm. To be spent at McDonald's in Singleton. Chad Salmon uh, looks like he's going to waste too much time with this kick. Important kick. Yeah, very important. He needs to kick this. It's pretty much right on the sideline, about 25 metres out. He looks at it. He's going to a bit of assistance from the breeze if he pushes it out wide. He's pushed it out no. wide, all right? The wrong wide. Pushed it way left. So the Criterion Hotel scoreboard still... Eight points to four in favour of the Greyhounds. Well, two tries to one at the moment, uh, minutes away from half-time. Aberdeen have got to put one of those kicks in now. They might get the ball back. Yeah, well, that's right. You know, they've, Singleton seem to be struggling with their kickoffs, and they're looking straight into that sun now that she's out, and um, it's, yeah, they've got to go away, I reckon. Send it high. It's going to be Nathan Cantor to get his play back underway just before half-time, and it's, well, it's a ripper of a kick. Taken beautifully, though, by Wayne Chandler before he's able to offload. And Singleton, good chase though from the kickoff, and they're 20 metres out. Now they get up, now they play the ball. It's Luke Holtz that they've cut out, and they find big John Boyle, it looks like. Chris Martin. Now he gets up. Now they're in the centre of the park. Not making a lot of yards. Slow play the ball. Jack Fraser sends it back out, finds Wayne Chandler. There's Clinton Toll. He's able to get an offload too. Singleton looking a bit better at the moment. Through the hands, and Bruce Turner tackled just short of the 40 metre line in their own half. The call for doggies come up again. Now they're going through the hands. There's J Luke Holtz. He's able to stand in. His tackle gets an offload through Bryce Neely. Chad Solomon. They've got numbers. Scott Matthews decides to go back inside. They're definitely short out here on the right all the time, Aberdeen, aren't they? They seem to be, yeah. Brendan Hunt's dropped back. Uh, tight game Joel but I think Singleton will get up there one two points ahead. Obvious. All right we're underway Chad Solomon kicks off towards the eastern end and Aberdeen will uh, pick it up through Shane Gibney. Our second half action 
is underway. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard is eight points to four in favour of the Greyhounds. Brendan Hunt gets into the middle and has a bit of a charge now. He'll stand up on the 30 metre line, centre of the park. Gee, Aberdeen have come out fast, haven't they? Yeah, they have. They're totally different side by the looks of it. Benny Hagen's back on there too. Just from the first set, Benny Hagen's got the ball now and he charges in, gets to the halfway line before he's met by the Singleton defence. Messi play the ball before uh, Steve Hinch and Aberdeen. Oh, what are they doing now, Aberdeen? Shane Hasselman, he starts. He's all over the place. Now he's put a ball back and uh, Shane Gibney's going to uh, get up. Not making any real yards there. They lost their way after we give them a wrap. Hey, Joel, I think they just took them three quick play. The balls was really good. I reckon they should have kicked it straight away of this wind. Sean Tennis put it really high back towards the centre of field. It's got a good bounce too, and it's going to be Jamie Garland for single and picks it up in front of his own goal post. Runs right across field, and he's hit very, very hard. Probably a little bit high. He did fall into that tackle, though. Like, yeah. It's a bit hard, but, yeah, it was high, though. Yeah, definitely high. Lee Mitchell and giving away a penalty. And Singleton will... Uh, go for their line finder from about 10 metres out from their own uh, try line. Chad's putting it in and uh, we're coming into play here. No, he's just missed us. Thanks, Chad. All right, Jack Fraser, he's going to find Luke Holster bowled into the line, 40 metres out from their own line. He stands up from the uh, Aberdeen tackle. Slow to get up, Luke. Hope he's all right. They go towards the centre of the field through uh, Bryce Nearly. Chris Martin, he can get an offload too. And Singleton will stand up and play the ball through Scott Matthews. Now they come back towards the centre. And that's better run from Bryce Neely. Where are the forwards from the second half? Uh, they need the forwards. You can't have the little blokes doing the hard stuff up the work. They need the pigs there. Lee Langdon has the ball. He finds Clinton Tull. He's played a lot of minutes in the first half, starting the second half. And um, he's looking still good. They're into the Aberdeen Territory and uh, Jack Fraser finds Lee Langdon. Short one to Bruce Turner. He's met by Daryl Bowen. James Standing has gone in low to make that tackle. Yeah, mate, they, they started with Lee Langdon at halfback again. I really felt they should have left Wayne Chandler there. Yeah, he's starting off the bench for the second half. Chad Simon holds it up. Wow, huge cutout pass to find Luke Gardner. A little bit of room to move. He's been able to get an offload too to Jamie Garland. A terrific tackle. On the last two, they decided to run it. Hey, that's that side we're talking about. Without the winger out there, they're starting to carve it up. And you'll see Chad Simon do that today. He'll, show, he'll throw that 30-metre pass to Luke Gardner. Aberdeen are tackled at the moment through Brendan Hunt. Now they come through and find Big J Foot, Big Yakimi up to the 40-metre line. Oh, breaks a bit of a tackle. Yeah, it's a good run. Four single and blokes end up bringing him back down. Steve Hinch in the dummy half. They're just short of halfway. But here they come through Dan Taylor. He will cross halfway. And a very good tackle from uh, Jack Fraser, who just holds on for the ride. Steve Hinch in the dummy half. He looks to the left, to the right. They come to the left, through the hands, through the back line, and it's the 5-8. Get oh, great offload from Darrell Bowen. No support going with him, though. No, they... Um, James Stanley could have gone in there and looked for an offload. Mate, they should have a look at Aberdeen's reserve grade side. They had a great second place play, didn't they? Very, very good. Now it's Steve Hinch, and he takes a run up. Uh, so Ben Hagen was the dummy half. Benny Hagen just not running freely at all, is he? No. Yeah. On the last, they head out towards Shane Gibney. He's going to have a lot of work to do to get this kick away. Nathan Cantor gets the ball off an offload, though. And he's put it out. We've got a forward, forward pass. pass. Yeah. Forward pass from our angle didn't look too bad, but uh, that'll be the changeover. And Aberdeen will get the ball 35 metres out, centre of the park, from their own line. Chad plays it back, and now we find Luke Holtz. Charges into the line. Good tackle. Jay foot over the top. Dan Taylor will go down low. Now Singleton back towards the centre. He holds it up for Chris Martin. He gets an offload too. Bruce Turner, where are the numbers? He's looking for the numbers. Yeah, but he'll find Bryce Neely. He's got a bit of room to move. Avoids the tackle. He's over the 20. Here comes Aberdeen to bring him down. Sean Tanner, desperation stuff. If he missed, they scored. Mate, that was a great tackle by Bryce Neely. He just stood two blokes up. They're 20 metres out from their own line. They've got a... Out towards the back, the back line is set up. Nick Kissy, he's done. Oh, there's a big gap in the middle. He's headed for it. Over the try line and under the post, Singleton will score. Oh, that's not good. That's a great try from Singleton. You know, they kept the run of the play. Nick Kissy got through that gap, but it all started from Bryce Neely, mate, when he made that gap on the halfway line. Look, they went on from that play, and uh, Nick Kissy, that big gap just opened up between uh, where Mark Wilton was standing. You can see it a mile away, and uh, Nick Kissy uh, that down. big gap just opened up between uh, where Mark Wilton was standing. You can see it a mile away, and uh, Nick Kissy head down. He went for it. Desperation stuff for him to get to the try line in the end. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, though, blown out a little bit now. It's 12 points to four, and a kick from in front for Chad Solman. You've got to back he's going to get it to send it to 14-4. Oh, you'd think so. It's right in front, but stranger things have happened, but you want to put a schooner on it? <laughs> on uh, Chad kicking it? No, I'm gonna, I reckon he's going to kick it. 
I reckon he's going to as well. <laughs> you owe me a schooner. <laughs> The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 12 points to four. The kick to Karma, he won't muck around with this one either. He'll just pop this. Gets comments and thanks to McDonald's in at Singleton. There it goes. The flags go up in the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. 14 points to four. The score boys, they had it up there already. They knew he was going to kick it. I don't know about you, Joel, but that's probably the ugliest mascot I've ever seen. The Greyhound. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's um, he's got an egg carton as a face mask. <laughs> He's done well, he's done well. It's very ordinary. Just stirring the Aberdeen crowd up there at the moment. Not time <laughs> to press the panic button for Aberdeen, but gee, they want to be the next try scorer. Yeah, it's going to be good. If, mate, if Singleton can go on with this and play football, mate, they'll, they'll put 20 on them. Chris Martin will bring the ball back from the kickoff and making good yards too. They get up to the 30 metre line over there on the, uh, the northern side. Now it's played back to Luke Gardner. He's able to front it up too, and Singleton will be tackled just short of the 40 metre line. Aberdeen defence, they're getting off their line. They know the importance of that try and they don't want to start creating more holes and gaps because the single and quick men, they're just going to find them all day. Yeah, they will. Once they, once single start turning the ball inside out, Aberdeen really needs to start defending well. And, well, high tackle. And Scott, that was a great run too from, uh, from Dummy Hart for uh, Scott Matthews to come up with a high tackle from uh, Mark Wilton. Looks like he's got a bit of grass on it, a bit of turf on his forehead. <laughs> he's got a orange forehead. <laughs> Singleton just slowing things down at the moment. They're going to find the line and uh, they're going to go on the track attack. It's another good opportunity for Singleton to post some more points. They're going to do it hard, though, because all the Aberdeen supporters are down that end. And I bet they're giving it to them. <laughs> Luke Holt, boom, into the line, tackled low. Darrell Bowen comes over the top. It was Jay Foote that got down low to make that tackle. They go to the blind side. Chris Martin holds it up. Can't quite get the offload, though. And he will be tackled for the second. They're about five metres out from the Aberdeen line. Singleton on the attack. They want to put the final nail in the coffin, perhaps. They come through the back line now, and it's Lee Langdon finding uh, Bruce Turner. Bit of a nothing play, but it got him towards the middle of the, the field. John. Now they want to keep going towards the blind side. Don't forget that our NRL updates will be coming up too, thanks to DNL Chainsaws. Oh. Scrappy play at the moment. Jamie Garland will be tackled. They're not going forward at the moment. This is the last. What will they do? They get it to the kick. Chad Solman, he shapes the kick. Now he puts it on the ground. A bit of a worm burner. Oh! oh. Lee Langdon collects. No, no, hang no. on a second. Offside. He's got him offside. Lee Langdon was offside. Well, that, that could have been very dangerous for Aberdeen then. That, mate, that could nearly have been the ball game, I think. Well, Chad really held it up, didn't he? He held yeah. it up too long, and it was um, just probably a little bit longer than what... Uh, Lee Langdon thought, but he's able to come at the ball and cross the line. That's worrying for Aberdeen, the fact that Singleton are crossing the line easily. They're just late. Aberdeen just look lazy in the fence, Joel. They're just walking in the fence and they're not coming across in cover. Shane Gibney is the dummy half. He offloads now and uh, finds Dan Taylor. Aberdeen have the ball around about 40 metres out from their own line, middle of the park. They come to the left and find Shane Hasselman, who finds Daryl Bell. There's a high one too, right up around the neck from Luke Holtz. And he will get the penalty for it. Now they're throwing him again, the boys. Holsey comes in. Oh, he puts a cheap one, too, on Steve Hinchin. Yeah, Daryl's got him above the... Uh, <laughs> well, that was a serious set of haymakers. But Luke Holtz, one of them's landed on Luke Holtz, and they've cut his eyebrow <laughs> wide open. Yeah, he's been split. Well, who threw the first one? That's Holsey. Him. Holsey threw the first one that missed, and Carrot's got a lucky one in him. <laughs> got a lucky one at the end. <laughs> Well, he'll, uh, he'll definitely lucky because he's split him. It's good ploy, though. They've taken Luke Holtz off before <laughs> Matt Edwards can call him out to talk to him. Oh, he's calling him back. You're going to have to go back. They're not hearing him. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 14 points to four in favour of Singleton. There's going to be a penalty, I would assume, going to Aberdeen uh, on the halfway. Yeah, mate. Hands are being waved. Oh, no, he's told him don't do it again. He's put him in the blood bin. In the blood bin. Well... Oh. They, that just surprised me because that just goes to show what Grand Finals do. Two blokes just had a fight there that I never thought would throw a punch at all. Yeah, I agree. I've never seen Daryl going into that sort of thing. Shane Gibney, though, he takes the line finder and they will get the ball now 30 metres out from the Singleton line. It's time for Aberdeen to post some points. Mark McCauley heads into the Singleton defence. Pat Ling hits him very, very hard with Chris Martin coming over the top. They're in the middle of the park. Now it's time for Singleton to defend, defend hard as Aberdeen come in hard too through Ben Hagen. Not making a real lot of yards though. Now he stands up, gets the ball back towards the right-hand side. Shane Gibney for Aberdeen. Cuts oh. out. Oh, Sean Tenner coming in on the burst but drops the ball 
and Singleton will collect it. That's a good play by uh, Aberdeen to show their hands. Yeah, it was, and I just think give over just passed that ball too hard, mate. Shane, Larry Tanner, though, he's coming in real hard on that too, so it just hit him on the chest and bounced out. Now Daryl Bowen puts a big hit in on Pat Ling. Singleton have the ball, not making a lot of yards. They're in the middle of the park around about 20 metres out. And... <laughs> Okay, got a mate. Got a, you got a little friend, have you? I got a mate. How are you, mate? mate. Good. I'm Gary the Green, and I'm having a great day, thank you. <laughs> That's the single to mascot. We've got to get a lead back on him. <laughs> Check his license. <laughs> Check his license at the council. <laughs> mate, have you been microchipped? <laughs> I've had everything. I'm a little bit worried. My tail's a little bit loose, but that's all right. I'll take it home and mend it. <laughs> well, go and get your distemper shots. <laughs> now a single oh. on ankle tap. <laughs> Thank you very much. The single, the mascot there. Great to have him on the broadcast. Where's the dog catcher? <laughs> scared, scared the hell out of me when I turned around and saw it, though. Single and oh, single and have come up with a mistake right on halfway, oh. and uh, that's going to be a scrum with the Aberdeen feed. Was it on the last? He was on the last, so we'll have a changeover. <laughs> oh, I can't get out. That last is thing a I terrible... expected, a bloke in a red Lycra shirt suit with an egg carton for a mask coming up to talk to us. <laughs> Mark McCauley's going to play the ball from the changeover. Right in the halfway line on the singleton end. He's ben, not good. Ben Hagen, very ginger into that run up there. He just doesn't seem to have it, and he is going to come off. And uh, that'll put Nathan Daniels and also uh, Tom Hagen looking to uh, get back into this game as well. Tom Hagen, he's on for uh, his brother, Ben. Now Larry Tanner's been able to get the ball out. And uh, Aberdeen players, he hurt. A little bit ginger, that's Brendan Hunt. Slow to get up, but he does. He will uh, be able to find Shane Gibney through the hands, through Shane Hasselman, on to Darrell Bowen. Geez, adds a couple of numbers there. Able oh, to get a good ball. offload. Now it's still on. James Standing, he's kicked it very early in the tackle count. And uh, it's bounced on oh, its end. Here comes Lee on. Mitchell. What's going to happen? And Singleton, unable to get out of their try line. Well, from something from nothing, I suppose, Joel, you know, it sort of worked out well in the end for Aberdeen. And he's put a warning on it. Yes. He's kicked it. It's gone way to the right and it's bounced on its end and comes straight left, hard left. But again, mate, Bryce Neely just, well, does well. Yeah, look, it's a good result for, uh, for Aberdeen. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 14 points to four in favour of the Greyhounds. Chad Salmon just taking his time with this line drop out to get us underway again. Aberdeen, the fence there, come back a long way for a kick that's going to be kicked into the wind. Now Shane Hasselman picks it up on the 30 metre line. He finds Tom Hagen bang into the line. Clinton Tull wraps him up nice and tight. Nathan Daniels, the dummy half, looks for Nathan Cantor and finds him. Now it's going to be Mark McCauley. He's done a lot of work since he's been on. I think he's had to. No, he's done well, and especially come, had the week off last week with that knee injury. Middle of the park, Nathan Daniels finds Shane Gibney. Cuts out one before he's playing Larry Tenner. Now he stands. Shane Hasselman standing in the back line. He wants it to come towards the left, and that's where it comes. Nathan Daniels just holding it up. Puts the pass just in front of him. Now Mark Wilton has the ball, and he's going to be... Oh, oh Pat Ling, solid. great hit, great hit there. And comes over the top with a bit of rubbish too. That'll be slow to get up for Mark Wilton. Now Shane... Hasselman has it. They send the ball back in towards Nathan Daniels. Mm. Aberdeen not looking organised at the moment. Go to the post. I think the halves are going to have to do it. Now Shane Gibney a bit of room to move. He's put the ball into the in goal. Oh, trouble for Singleton. Mm. They clean up by knocking it back over the dead ball line. Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 14 points to four. The Singleton Greyhounds lead this grand final. We're probably around about oh, 12, 13 minutes into uh, the second half. About 15 or so. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You got the clock going there? What's going on? Well, we've got time off here and we've got another drop out from Singleton. So uh, Aberdeen, they're starting the pepper and they're getting the repeat set and that's all they've got to do. They've just got to wear them down. Now Chad Salmon puts boot to ball, kicks it straight. It's a bit of a worm burner that sits up. Shane Gibney's picked it up. Where's his forwards? Mark McCauley says he'll have a go. Patling goes in hard once again. They're tackled 30 metres out their centre of the field. 30 metres out from the Singleton line, that is. They go on to the attack. Dan Taylor's got the head down. Wants more work. They've got to get more creative, though, Aberdeen. Yeah. one out stuff is not doing it. Tom Hagen's going to turn up there and gets off to an offload from Nathan Daniels. Now they're about 10 metres out. Now it's time to put something on. It's only about the third tackle. Shane Gibney has the ball. He looks for Shane Hasselman. Probably too deep at the moment. Daryl Bowen charges on. Can he get an offload? They've got the numbers if they can. He can't. They're about three metres out from the Singleton try line. Right on the uh, touchline, oh, silly kick by Nathan Daniels, just found Clinton Tull, hit him right in the chest, couldn't have been a sweeter kick. Now James Standing will bring Clinton down, ends up doing a flip somehow. <laughs> James Standing and uh, Mark Wilton make the tackle though. 
It's very important for Aberdeen. They've done it the last few times, given silly piggyback penalties. They really need to make them work out of their own yard now. Now Singleton come back out too. There's Chris Martin. He'll be tackled on the 30-metre line, about five metres in from the northern touchline. Towards the left they go. And that looks like Lee Langdon uh, just can't quite avoid that tackle of Mark Wilton. Jack Fraser to dummy half. He'll find Chad Solman. It's only the fourth tackle. Bryce nearly able to get a bright offload too. Oh, and, that uh, forward. Did look forward too, but uh, Jamie Garland. Oh, good offload. It's Luke Gardner. Luke Gardner's over the 30 metre line. One to beat. Oh, oh what a great tackle. Great tackle by Nathan Cantor there. Great try saving tackle. It's on the last. Luke Gardner very, very slow to get up. Now he'll get up. Find Scott Matthews. He looks for Chad Solman. He hasn't got a lot to kick with. Zach Solomon keeps it out. Nick Kissy, they're doing the back line. Nick Kissy's put the kick in. That's going to get over the try line. But Lee Mitchell is going to be able to uh, collect that and make his way back into the field of play. I tell you, like Luke Gardner just showed explosive pace there. And I tell you, uh, Nathan Kennelly made that tackle. He was under the post and she was good night Aberdeen. Now Larry Tennis, slow to stand up, find Tom Hagen. They're trying to get out of their own half. Big crunch tackle from Pat Ling. He's playing well, isn't he, Pat Ling? Going very, very well. Big John Boyle made that tackle too. There's Shane Givney. Oh, sorry, Nathan Daniels. He gets cleaned up from over the top too. Oh, oh he's lost it. Oh. He's lost it. So Singleton now will, uh, from courtesy of a scrum, will go on the attack about 30 metres out. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 14 points to four. The Singleton Greyhounds lead. A little bit dark and gloomy here at Singleton. It's yeah, starting to go a bit overcast, isn't it? Don't forget to, after this match, our NRL updates will continue thanks to DNL Chainsaws, the Broncos in the Storm. That coverage coming from the boys. From Andrew Moore in Locker Roach. Bryce Neely from the scrum win is able to beat one tackle before the second line of defence is there to meet him. Your favourite. Wayne Chandler's about to come back in the game, Kurt. Oh, mate, he's been, he's been explosive off the bench. And if I was Mark Newman, mate, I wouldn't have taken him off at all. Singleton coming through the hands before Zach Sol is, um, is that a knock-on? Yeah, I thought it was a knock-on, mate. But he's got away that Lee Langdon. Pat Link charges back in the line. Oh, just dismisses James Standing. Like he's a tackle pad. Mate, pad. it's really improved Pat Ling's game over the years. He's he's always stars the front row, but coming off the bench, he's really enjoying that now, and he gets to play flat out, and, well, he can't really play flat out, but... Singleton only 12 metres out from the Aberdeen try line, looking to post some more points that could put the nail in the coffin. Now Lee Langdon comes through, finds Zach Simon, Nick Kissy oh. again, they've done this, as like a mirror image of the last play. Yeah. They're going to stand up on the last. Who is getting into position? Zach Solman's given himself a lot of Wayne room. Wayne Chandler field goal. Wayne Chandler's going to look oh. high. He's gone across field. He's going to look for uh, Luke Gardner over there. It's come off a single and player, though, before uh, Aberdeen will just clean this up. They'll take the... Uh... No, Brendan Hunt's picked it up. He's going to take the advantage, and now that'll be the zero tackle. So they should. They're about 20 metres out and about 10 in from the northern touchline. Dan Taylor has a charge in and palms off uh, John Boyle. Now back towards the centre through Mark McCall. He's short for a prop, isn't he? Yeah, very short, but he's he gets through a lot of hard work. He's and he's he's more af athletic for a front row these days than normal. Shane Givney using the win and we're going to the kick very, very early. Kick. That's a great kick. It's going to go all the way down to the uh, single and try line. They're going to have to run all this out. Big set of defence. Big set in defence for Aberdeen needed here. Hopefully they'll get the mistake and then they'll be able to take advantage of it. But Singleton, they're just going to do this one-out stuff. They'll get to their kick. They know how important this is to Bryce Neely with his second head up of the set. Now he comes back, and they're going to find Scott Matthews, it looks like. Sorry, it's uh, Jamie Garland. <laughs> and uh, Mark Wilton will uh, tackle him along with James Sanding. They're 35 metres out, 10 in from the southern touchline as Pat Ling gets his chance to belt into the line, and Aberdeen are there to meet him. That's the fourth tackle. Which way will they go? They've got numbers either side. They're in the middle. Now Jamie Garland finds uh, Zach Solomon. A little bit of room to move. Jane Standing just able to uh, get that attack oh, for uh, silly. Jane's just thrown it away. There's no need for that. Absolutely thrown it away. And put the boot in too to Dan Taylor. So, uh, Singleton don't need to do anything fancy, Joel. They've got a 10-point lead. You know, they've just got to complete their sets, get the ball down in Aberdeen's half, make them work for their yards, and just play the footy. Aberdeen are ready to back the scrum. Singleton aren't even there. They'll get time off. Aberdeen just seem to be showing a bit more urgency now uh, when players stop just to get through. Oh, we've got to have that again. <laughs> well, yeah, Aberdeen's got to score twice. Uh, yeah. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 14 points to four, favour of Singleton. 
Heard special comments of thanks to McDonald's in Singleton. Oh, what about the man of the match? You're still working on that? Oh, yeah, mate. I've got no idea at the moment. <laughs> I think I might take it myself. <laughs> You can split them if you do. <laughs> Shane Hasselman uh, from the scrum win. Now he'll be tackled. Ben Hagen's gone back into the game too. He just seems to be playing a few minutes on, a few minutes off. Mark Wilton comes off, and that puts Steve Hinchin back on. Hopefully that'll give him a bit more organisation around that ruck. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. Nathan Daniels at hooker at the moment. I say Steve Hinchin will go to lock. Aberdeen come through the hands. Mark McCauley, they're deep into uh, Singleton territory at the moment. Well, deep by they're about 20 metres out. The dummy half, they have a bit of a run through. Nathan Daniels finds... Uh, Daryl Bowen, he could stand. Oh, he's beaten that tackle. Scott Matthews comes over the top to wrap him up. They're about five metres out. Single and defence are all on their own try line now. They go towards the right-hand side. Shane Givney holds it up a little bit there. He will be tackled. Single, this is the last looking for their options. Which way they've decided to go blind. See if they can pick up a try through number 16. Is he going to give it? Yeah, it's a try. Is he going to give it? Yeah, it's a try. Brendan Hunt scored. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard. Now he's 14 points to eight. He's done Big, well there, makeshift winger. Got down low, the fence coming across. He got down low, stopped from taking him out, so he's done well. I didn't think he'd actually do that. Look, he hit the ball really, really hard. He hit it like the way that Sean Tanner did that other uh, few plays ago. Yeah, um, able to get the Yeah, you get two blokes, Sean Tanner and Brendan Hunt, both hit the ball of urgency. Unlucky Sean Tanner, did, he dropped the ball, but Brendan Hunt hit it with pace and scored. Nathan Cantor is going to take the kick for goal. I can't say I've actually seen him kick. Um, yeah, he goes all right. I think he does a bit of kicking in the under 18, so... Well, he's going to have from I'll, the sideline. I wouldn't like to be kicking from where he is, mate, right over next to the Singleton crowd. They're going to be giving it to him. They are giving it to him. You can kind of hear it. And <laughs> right on the sideline, that wind's sort of kicking up a little bit as well. It's going to be a tough kick, but an important kick. If he does, it'll only put him a, a converted try behind. Ah, oh, they've thrown something at him. Uh, he's oh, missed he's it. They're throwing something. That's true. A can at him. That's ridiculous. You know that—that that is just crap. And I hope the security guard gets around there and throws him out. Yeah, you can't have that sort of thing. That's very disappointing from the, the Singleton crowd. Chad Solomon lining up this kick. <coughs> the Criterion Hotel scoreboard is going to remain at 14 points to eight. A converted try in it at the moment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aberdeen now with the ball from the kickoff. They're on the 20-metre line. And it looks like Brendan Hunt having his charge out there. He'll make 10 metres. 30 metres out. They're about 15 in from the northern touch line. He comes back out towards Benny Hagen. Benny Hagen's strong at the moment. Knows the importance. They're only converted try behind the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. 14 points to 8 in favour of Singleton. But Aberdeen have found fresh legs at the moment through Sean Tenner getting over the halfway. Mate, Nathan Daniels just gives them that extra opportunity at a dummy half. You know, a third playmaker out there. He's really handy. It's coming through the back line. They've got numbers if they keep going here at the moment. Daryl Bowen, he's going to stand up. That tackle from uh, Zach Solman. Also Nick Kissy in there too. 14 points to 8. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard in favour of the uh, Red Dogs. Now it's Shane Givney. He's going to look. He's put a kick that's gone very, very high. Those uh, chases onside. I'm a bit worried about that. Bryce Neely though. He's done a great job and uh, taken it on the full before the defence arrived. Now Singleton going to work it out of their own half. They need to be the next scorers too. They wanna, don't want to lose this advantage. Ah, exactly. We'll see what happens. Ben Hagen very slow to get off that player. Lucky not to uh, give a penalty as John Boyle hits the line. He's wrapped up by Dan Taylor. Just looking at my right, Jay Foote looks like he's getting ready to come back into the game too. And it can't come soon enough, you know, a bit of fresh legs out there and especially need some damaging defence. Yeah, look, yeah, big tackle in that half to knock the ball loose and um, Aberdeen, they'll love that. Now Singler comes through and John Boyle, no support. Now he gets an offload though and finds Chad Salmon who's got uh, some numbers through uh, Jamie Garland. Oh, I think Jamie Garland's very lucky he got missed by Brendan Hunt then. I think so, a run from dummy half from Chad Salmon. Oh, he's run out. Oh, he's gone out. Oh, no. Well, Chad Salmon's taken the ball. He's gone blind and um, put it straight out and that's on the last, so that'll be a changeover. Aberdeen will have the ball 30 metres out from their own try line, about 10 metres in from touch. Here they go, Nathan Daniels finds Ben Hagen, charges in, that's a very strong run. Puts the arms up, wants to get up and play the ball. Now it's going to be Mark McCauley who takes over. And they'll be tackled 40 metres out from their own line. They've been a bit flat at the moment. Single. Yeah, and it's not real sure where they're going. Nathan Daniels from dummy half has turned the ball back inside though and finds Nathan Cantor. 
They've got to set more up. They've got the back line come up. I think Shane Hasselman's got to involve himself a little bit more in this game. That knee might be troubling him. Oh, there was the open space. James Standing holds it up, though, and able to break a tackle before a couple of single and players come over and jump on the top of him. Just on uh, halfway, Lee Mitchell at dummy half finds Daryl Bowen bang into the he's line. He's had a big he's game, Daryl Bowen. Bowen. Very good game. He'd be close to your man of the match, wouldn't he? Yeah, he is at the moment. Skinny fella, too. He'd be looking for him. <laughs> Super size me. Oh, another short kick. Is Shane Hussman on side? And he yep. is. Oh, Singleton able to get the ball away, though. But I think if Aberdeen are going to start making inroads in this grand final, Shane Hussman needs to take the line on. They've got to make it happen. Steve Hinchin and Daryl Bowen make a tackle, but the offload has happened. And uh, Singleton now with the ball. It's their second tackle there. 35 metres out centre of the field. Chad Simon throws a dummy to the left, comes back towards the right. Oh, Wayne Chandler able to break a couple, only a couple to beat if he can do it. He's got the head down, he's got an offload to Nick Kissy, Lee Mitchell, oh, around the back corner pass. Singleton are about 20 metres out, about five in from uh, their touchline. Wayne Chandler, great run from him. He sent the ball back towards the middle through Zach Simon. He's cut out a couple to find Clinton Toll. Now it's on to Bryce Nearly. He stands up. There's Jamie Garland, good tackle from... Uh, Brendan Hunt, Jamie Garland able to get the ball back though and it'll be Bryce Neely, he'll stand up and play the ball. Must be very close to going out over on that side as well. Clinton Tull, head down. They're about 10 metres out from the Aberdeen line. Oh, great offload to Pat Ling. On the last, on the last, they're looking for their playmakers. Looking for their playmaker, Scott Matthews, the dummy half. He's got to get the ball quickly to Chad Salmon. He does that. Now comes out the back to find Wayne Chandler. He's going to hold it up, dribbles it into the end goal. Oh, Nick Kissy's come through. He'll score. That's a try. There you go. There's me man. Wayne Chandler dribbles it into the end goal. Nick Kissy comes through and scores the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. Now 18 points to 8. And is it time for a little bit of... Has the fat lady just sunk it? I think she has, actually. I, um, oh. Has the fat lady just sunk it? I think she has actually. I, um, I, I can't see Aberdeen coming back from this. You know, the heads are down, and um, as I said, mate, Wayne Chandler should never have went off the field after half time, and Aberdeen will be leading. Uh, Singleton will be leading by 30. There's only about 10 minutes or so to go. 12 minutes left in this grand final. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard. It's 18 points to eight. That's the advantage. Kurt's comments thanks to Musselbrook Singleton, Chad Solomon. He's going to take this kick about 10 metres in from the southern touchline. And round about 22 metres out. The crowd. Yeah, getting excited now. He's right behind Singleton at the moment. Getting excited. Is this going to be the elusive grand final win for Singleton? They've been here for the last three years. They've only won none. <laughs> well, there's always time, mate, you know. And, uh, there's an old cliche, you've got to lose one to win one, but they've lost two, so surely they should romp home now. I'll tell you, if he kicks it, she'll be singing. Here we go. The kick's coming, and it's up in the air. No! no! <laughs> it's a fat lady singing. That kick successful. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 20 points to eight. Two converted tries to get her in the Golden Point Kurtz. Not out of the question, but... Oh, Ten minutes to go. This is when Aberdeen play their best for them. Yeah, exactly. You can never count Aberdeen out, mate, but I don't think they can come home from here. Nathan Cantor, he's going to kick it. He's got to go deep, and that's exactly what he's done. He's put it very, very deep. Oh, great catch by Wayne Chandler. Pat Ling's going to run into this line. He meets a solid Mark Wilton and also Daryl Bowen. Jay Foote was there too. Yakimi gets on top of him. You lose your breath when that happens. Mate, I've... I know I've wrapped Wayne Chandler all day, but isn't it just, you know, as soon as he gets on that field, he just adds another pinch to Singleton. He directs him around the park, and he just creates he just creates opportunities for him. He's doing very, very well. Chad Selwyn has a ball in his hands. They send it towards the left-hand side. It looks like Chris Martin. He's going to be tackled. Aberdeen defence are getting off their line, but Singleton are just going sideways at the moment. Now they want to go blind, but they come open. Chad Selman throws it, shows it. Now on to Wayne Chandler. They've got numbers. There's no one here. Pat Ling, he's just palms <laughs> off. James Standing, oh. he's thrown the ball. Uh, has come back, and Chad Selman, he's going to wrap it up. This is tackle four. The GSA had numbers there. The Aberdeen wingers have gone back very, very early. And now it's big John Boyle. He's going to be tackled by uh, Yakimi. Jay Foote gets <laughs> off him. <laughs> come on, Yakimi! <laughs> That's the call. Wayne Chandler sends it back towards Nathan Cantor right in the middle of the park. 
20 metres out from his own line. He heads back towards the centre of the field. Now the single and defence is there. Aberdeen too slow to get back. But I tell you what, don't need to. Nathan Cantor's busted him. He's over the 50 now and runs it back over the 40 metre line. That's a terrific run. Aberdeen have just got back to where he picked the ball up. Time to set up the line now. That's the first tackle. Well, that's all Aberdeen needed, you know, just a break. Just, well, something like that, and he'll just ignite him again. Lee Mitchell's come into the centre looking for a bit of work. Is he tackled? He's not. Let's play on, Lee. You're right. Keep going. Now Zach Tolman picks him up and tackles him and makes sure of it this time. Nathan Daniels, he wants the ball from dummy half. He's going to send it out. He's going to run himself. That's better action because it's putting the defence in two minds. Uh, exactly. Aberdeen haven't done enough of that. Now Steve Hinchin is the dummy half. They come towards the left through Sean Tenner. He wants the line. Mark Wilton there. Holes are opening up, I've got to say. Steve Hinchin finds Shane Gibney. Now they're trying to do probably too much. A scrappy pass to uh, Brendan Hunt. Has seen an intercept. That's Singled it. Singled in a gone. The game over, over mate. the halfway line. He's over the 40. He's going to go. They're not going to get him. It's going to be Chad Solomon. Now the fat lady singing, Kurt. Yeah, mate, she's all over. Chad Solomon scores in the corner of the Criterion Hotel scoreboard. 24 points to eight. Mate, the Red Dogs are going to win their grand final that's avoided them for the last three years. Mate, the boys are walking up there on the bench a bit near, you know, and all right, mate. They thoroughly deserve to be the. Um, yeah, well, I think they're going to be the premiers now, like, and they thoroughly deserve it. They've been the form side all year, and uh, yeah, good luck to them. Criterion Hotel scoreboard 20. I've lost count. That's nothing new for me. <laughs> no, it's not. 20 points to uh, eight. 24 eight. Thank you. Kick to come. Singleton are really celebrating at the moment. There's still probably uh, 10 to go, though. You know, anything can happen in a grand final. I think they know they're beat. Yeah, and the, and the crab again, they're starting to throw cans again now. It's from the Aberdeen people. And, yeah, it's just, it's just no need for it, mate. It's a game of football. No, look, I hope they don't. I hope they give him a fair shot at this. Definitely don't need it. He's going to be lining this kick up now. He just sort of steps back a little bit. Oh, mate, Wayne Chandler, he's pretty casual. He won't take much time. Here we go. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 24 points to 8. And it's a shocker. Hey, Katrina Solomon's even doing a dance up here at the moment. Now getting the crowd pumping. It's Katrina's birthday. What a nice birthday present for her. 24 points to 8. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard have around about 8 to 9 minutes left on the clock. Aberdeen a little bit slow to bring this ball back. That try came from a mistake from Aberdeen, but they just a little bit, a little bit lackadaisy in what they were doing. Now Nathan Cantor gets us underway. Here we go. It's gone very, very high. Bryce Neely is able to uh, catch it, though, and get it on to Luke Holtz, who's got a nice headband around that shaved head of his now from an earlier wound. Gets up, plays the ball very slowly. They're in no hurry now, uh, Singleton. Oh, oh, a mistake. Pack the scrum nice and quick. Aberdeen, they're going to want to get this. No, I don't think it's going to open, mate. Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 24 points to eight. For Singleton, Greyhounds lead. They've got time off. Time's been blown off for this uh, scrum. Aberdeen looking to get a couple of their bigger men back in there, the fitter ones. Ben Hagen, also Dan Taylor. Yeah, mate, Dan Taylor, he's just a workhorse. He'll just do the job for you all day, and, and that's what he's done today. He's probably made about 60 tackles. Aberdeen, no choice, really. They needed to throw it around. Oh, throw it around. They've got to, mate. They've got, <laughs> they've got no option. They've got to start doing something if they're going to win. All right, play resume without the referee saying, hang on, boys, I'll tell you when you resume. Yeah, we don't need the referee. Let him go. Now you've got time back on. Now Shane Gibney feeds the scrum. They're 15 metres out from the Singleton line. They're oh! Early and Shane taken Hesselman out? might have taken been out? taken out. Looks like it's going to be OK. Singleton try to run it out of their try line. Can't do it, so they'll get a repeat set. Yeah, kick it on the first is creative. It's what's needed. Oh, it is, mate. They've got to try something. Only a few minutes left in this grand final. A few minutes left in the grand final. Here we go. Chad Solomon's going to uh, line drop to get us underway. When in his own time. They're in no hurry. There's a good kick, too. It's going to come around about 50 metres on the fly. Nathan Cantor, he's collected it, passes it on to Ben Hagen, gets in the line. Oh, he struggles on that leg, doesn't he? He's really favoured that coming into that uh, tackle. He has, mate, and, but he's, he's been a leader out there as their captain coach, and he's had to do it, and he's done it well. Look, heart and soul, he's um, wishing him all the best, too, with his endeavours in Innisfail for uh, next year. Uh, scrappy play the ball, and a penalty, the hand in the play the ball. Aberdeen are going to uh, take the tap about 20 metres out, almost centre of the field. 
through Nathan Daniels. They send it back out to Jay Foote. He hits the line very, very hard. Slowly they get off him. Now they do. And it's Nathan Daniels at dummy half. Shapes to pass it. Now he gets it out to Mark Wilton. Nick Kissy bats it down, and that'll be play on. That'll be the zero tackle. Ben Hagen. Oh! Puts the head down looking for a try. Now he gets up. Now the play comes towards the uh, centre of the field through Tom Hagen. Oh, they're an opportunity. They're a chance there. They must be just short. They're just centimetres from the line right under the puck. Uh, he's scored. He's going to score. Give it a try. I think, it's, I think it's just a consolation try though, Joel. He's given a try. Given a try to uh, Tom Hagen. Must have been very close to that line. Now the Criterion Hotel scoreboard is 20 points. He's given a try. Given a try to uh, Tom Hagen. Must have been very close to that line. Now the Criterion Hotel scoreboard is 24 points to 12. Well, a quick kick because it's under the goalpost. You've got to give yourself every opportunity. Lee Mitchell spotted that goal, so now the Criterion Hotel scoreboard reads 24 points to 14. Another quick try. Quick try from this set. It's very yeah, interesting. It could be interesting, but uh, might be too little too late for Aberdeen, I think, mate. Probably only about four minutes left on the clock. Singleton probably taking four minutes to get back. <laughs> They're going very, very slowly at the moment. Time has been called off again. To bring it back the Criterion Hotel scoreboard 24 points to 14 a Singleton lead they've played in the last three grand finals they're looking to uh, collect their first their last game at Singleton showgrounds a fairy tale ending for this wonderful ground holds a lot of history there's a lot of history here they got rid of the dogs a couple of years ago so now Chad Salmon for Singleton kicks it kicks it very very deep towards the Aberdeen goalpost finds Tommy Hagen Good for Tommy to get a try in his first grand final for in, for in the senior grade. Yeah, well done to him. He's played well when he's gone off on the bench. Like, you know, the bench hasn't let Aberdeen down, and it's just single and been too good, mate. Stands up for James Standing for the uh, second, finds Jay Foote running in the middle of the field. Oh, he oh, makes 10, run. 15, 20 metres. They yep. still can't bring the big man down. He'll be washing up for that tonight. Now they finally drag him down. Nathan Daniels jumps over a singleton player that was lying in the ruck. <laughs> Footy's going back again. to Footy. He's going to have another run, makes another 10 metres. Aberdeen just short of the halfway line at the moment, 15 in from the northern touchline. The ball comes back towards the left, through the hand. Shane Givney onto Larry Tenner. Larry Tenner finds James Standing now onto Lee Mitchell, who ducks back in field before uh, he is tackled by uh, Wayne Chandler. Stands up. Carrots, this is the dummy half. Sean Tenner, he's just put a little kick in behind the line. Got some chases there, but Nathan... Uh, Bryce Neely for Singleton oh. over to, uh, to get through. Attempt to tackle there. Might have been a bit of a spear tackle. Singleton have the ball. They're around about 35 metres out. Bring the ball back now and it's through Lee Langdon. Been a little bit quiet today, I thought, Lee. Yeah, he has been quiet, mate. You know, Wayne Chandler, he should have, he should have stayed there. Singleton have the ball and they're over the 40 metre line now, still in their own half trying to get it out. I think that's about the third or fourth tackle through Scott Matthews. They come and find Lee Langdon out on the right. Jay Foot comes over the top and uh, tackles him. Lee Mitchell uh, help him out. Now Scott Matthews stays at dummy half, finds Wayne Chandler, then Chad Solman are cutting out a few passes before uh, sending it through. Will it go out? No. Collected by Brendan Hunt. He's had a, a fair game too, Brendan Hunt, I've got to say. Yeah, he has played well going on the position where he's, you know, a bit unusual on the wing, but he's, he's done well. Now Aberdeen try and fight it out of their own half. They're about 10 metres in from the northern touchline. Slow to get up. This grand finals team sort of lost its intensity. The crowd are nowhere. No, oh, I know where they are. Interested in other festivities at the moment. Yeah. They're 40 metres out from their own line. Nathan Daniels goes blind, finds Brendan Hunt. He will just run all day until you tell him to stop. <laughs> You don't tell him to stop, mate. About two minutes left uh, in this grand final. The Criterion Hotel school board reads 24 points to 14. Daryl Bowen. Oh, he's dropped it. Nick Kissy's collected it. He's oh, going to score. It. He's going to run away. There's the fat lady singing. Scores under the post. A wall of red and white at the moment as the players go down to congratulate him. The heads of Aberdeen, they bow down. The Criterion Hotel school board now 28 points to 14. Not the result that... Um, 
we're probably expecting considering that the four times they've already played each other there's never been more than six points in it. No, exactly right, Jarlin. Right, Jarlin. Yeah, you go back, yeah to... you go back to the major semi, 13-12, and uh, as we say, I made Singleton just too good. A couple of tries for Nick Kissy now for the day. He's had quite a day out. He's had a great day, you know, and, and they've created opportunities for him, and when you've got a, a centre with his ability, you've got to do it. Don't forget, Kurt, you're going to have to pick me a man of the match. We'll be doing that after the game. Thanks to McDonald's in Singleton's, where your comments have come from. Then we'll have our NRL updates. Thanks to DNL Chainsaws and our full-time review, too. Thanks to the Clubhouse Hotel in Singleton. They're giving Wayne Chandler to the kick right in front. I reckon he'll kick the Jaisen out of this. Well, I reckon he'll kick it. Here we go. To make the score 30 points to 14, Wayne Chandler comes in now. And flags go up. Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 30 points to 14. Only a minute or so left in this grand final. The Singleton Greyhounds are leading, repeating that score, 28 points to 14. In our earlier games, it was Singleton in under-18s and Aberdeen in reserve grade. Oh, they're whooping up the kissy. <laughs> Waiting for play to start. Can only be a few seconds left on the clock. Probably a few seconds too much for the Aberdeen Tigers. They've fought hard today. Ah, oh, they have. Nathan Cantor puts it on the kicking tee. Just getting ready to belt it. There he goes. He sends it back downfield. Oh, they're a bit of a mess up. Who's going to pick it up? The single to now have it too, and now they bring it hard out too. Very good run. They're 30 metres out from their own line. They're running it out. They wouldn't. They want more points. They've got the sniff now. Yeah, they have. Sniff is definitely in. Singleton, they're in full voice now. They're about to sing the song. They're about to take this grand final out. 30 points to 14. Slow to get up. Ben Hagen. It's his last game for Aberdeen for a little while. Now Jack Fraser has the ball. Sends it back to Luke Holtz. He's fought hard today. Nick Kissy with a couple of tries. He'll never forget this day. Shows a bit of a dummy. Able to oh, break a tackle. Lee Mitchell and Mark Wilton come over there and clean him up. He's just in front of the halfway line. Right on the sideline. Now he sends it back towards uh, Wayne Chandler. Chandler. And he's put it dead. Well, right, that'll nearly be it, I'll to, tell you. Uh, there she is, mate. Full-time win. The Criterion Hotel scoreboard, 30 points to 14. Singleton have broken the duck. Uh, mate, they, they thoroughly deserve it. They're the best side all year. And, um, you know, they've done it in style. They were just far too good today. But they were very, very good, you know. They're just you know, a couple of little things from the Aberdeen defence just brought on a couple of tries. In the end, it just sort of got away from them. They got 14 points. They got back in the game. It just um, wasn't quite enough. Our Singleton supporter, Kayleigh, you'd be happy with that. I'm ecstatic, Joel. The boys have done a great job today. And I'm just going to say, great job by Wayne Chandler. He really did make a change to the game. And the boys are going to be happy with this. Big night tonight, big day tomorrow. I'd say it'd be a big two weeks. No work in Singleton tomorrow. <laughs> First of all, the um, interchange officials for the first grade, Owen Scriven and Glenn Davis. <laughs> Touch judges for first grade, Robert Hume and Peter Wilde. And referee for first grade, the youngest referee, the referee of Group 21 Grand Final, Matt Edwards. I'd just like to make special comments on um, Matt Edwards, Robert Hugh and Peter Watt, because they have put in um, this year. If they, the, the, the they did, there were probably a few games that would have got called off, so thanks fellas. I'd like to call on the um, Aberdeen. If I can call on the Aberdeen captain, Benny Hagen. Benny, if Benny can just say a few words on the behalf of Aberdeen. Uh, firstly, congratulations to Singleton. It's a good hard game. It has been all year. Every game we play has been close, and today wasn't much different. Um, yeah, boys, great effort, boys. Everyone done deep. Obviously, results didn't go our way, but I'm very proud of all of you, so thank you. Right. Uh, Nathan Gantor.
Jim Warrigan, Sean Tanner, Dane Standing, Shane Hasselman, Shane Gibney, Dave Foot, Stephen Hinton, Dan Taylor, Al Bowen, Mark Wilton, Mark McCauley, Tom Hagen, Brendan Hunt, Nathan Daniels, Anthony Parker, Andrew Nichols, Lee Mitchell, sorry, Mitter. Supporters, the moment you've been waiting for to present the President's Trophy to the captain of the winning side, I'd like to call up Scotty Matthews. Number 
Yeah. Who won? Yeah. Yeah. 